Hi, I'm Jake White. A couple of years ago, I was lucky enough to coach the Springboks and we went on to win the World Cup. Today, I'm currently Director of Rugby at the Vodacom Bulls. So for me, my focus has changed. I want you guys that are youngsters to grow up to be the best rugby players you can. And today, Coach Jerry is going to teach you about the different rugby positions in rugby. Thanks, Jake. To help me with today's lesson, we've got two really big Vodacom Bulls players and Biliki. The props, number one and three, are two of the most powerful players in a team. They anchor the front row, and between them in the scrum is the hooker, his position number two. The hooker hooks the ball with his leg to win possession in the scrum. In Biliki rugby and in sevens, your scrum only features the front row. But here at the Vodacom Bulls, we have eight players in the scrum. Behind the front row, you have the line-out jumpers, the locks, number four and five. They are the giants of the team. The flankers, number six and seven, scrum next to the locks. When they aren't helping the front rowers win the scrum, they are relentless tacklers in open play, and they will look to win the ball in the rack. Number eight, he works with the flankers in all of this. And when they are at the back of the scrum, they're always looking to secure possession of the ball. In an eight-man scrum, the props and the hooker are supported by the locks. And in the line-out, they return the favor. The props then lift and support the locks while the hooker throws the ball in. Let's look at the most important points from today's lesson. The props must be able to win the ball back in the scrum and lift the locks. The hooker must be able to hook the ball in the scrum and throw it in at line-out time. The locks must win the ball at line-outs and at kickoffs. For the flankers and the eighth man, they will win the ball in the tackle area as well as in the racks. Number nine and 10 act as the joint between the muscular forwards and the skillful backs. In the next episode of Jake's Kickstart, we'll tell you more about backline play.